Well, I hope everyone is doing great. Thank you for hopping on and joining. I'll also be teaching tomorrow and then again for the next few weeks. Um, so same announcements as usual. If the internet gets choppy, I do apologize. Um, if you see any surprise appearances by the animals, that's just a thing now. <laughs> and have fun with your yoga practice. Let it be yours. Let yourself be like free flowing and just let it feel good. Um, if you ever have questions, feel free to type in the chat afterwards or um, just let me know if you have any questions. Okay, so why don't we go ahead and get started. We can settle into our practice um, and begin. So what a great thing to do on a Monday night. Let's go ahead and sit in a comfortable cross-legged position. And we will, of course, start with just recognizing our breath. So maybe before we even adjust it, kind of just notice how it is. So if it's fast or choppy, or maybe it's already feeling great. Maybe you've already been settled into uh, the yoga mat for a few minutes. So just notice how that is feeling and notice how your thoughts are um, and we will find ourselves to a more still place so not just physically but also kind of mentally so allow the body to feel relaxed so not such a tight grip on the fingertips the elbows are nice and loose and already as we're sitting up nice and tall so to get length in that spine Slightly hug that belly button in towards the spine and let the top of the head reach up towards the ceiling. And if the shoulders are hugging up by the ears on an exhale, uh, you are welcome to kind of roll them down the back. And we'll begin breathing here. So we want long, deep breaths in through the nose, maybe for a count of three or four. And then out through the mouth, long exhales. So a nice little challenge here is seeing if you can let the exhales be a bit longer than usual. So maybe an exhale for a count of five or six. And why don't we take about three more deep breaths in and out. And notice the rise and fall of the chest. Let the muscles of the face relax. Back of the neck is nice and long. And gently go ahead and open the eyes and we'll just start taking some uh, circles, kind of letting the heart lead the way, warming the torso up a bit. Excuse me. <laughs> and if you'd like, you can leave the hands on the knees and maybe switch from side to side. <laughs> Looks like you guys have a dog in the view too. <laughs> Hopefully he'll move soon. <sighs> All right, so switching directions if you'd like. <laughs> And then from here, come back to a more still um, spot and we'll do cat cow seated. So the hands are gently resting on the knees and as you inhale, let the heart pull up and the gaze begins to come up towards the ceiling if it feels okay on the neck. Then as you exhale, curl in the spine, hug the belly button in, tuck the chin. Keep moving like that so your breath is setting the pace and the movements work with the breath. We'll take three more rounds of this, just warming up the spine, opening up the heart and chest, letting the neck warm up. And last one here. And then we'll sit up nice and tall. And go ahead and place your right hand down on the ground. And then when you're ready, inhale, lift the left arm up high towards the ceiling. And then exhale, reach over to your right. 
So you're really gentle in this elbow. Uh, my right hand is on the ground. For a deeper stretch, you can drop down to the right forearm. And notice where the gaze is. So it's always welcome to come up towards the ceiling. Really lengthen and reach through the left fingertips. I feel a nice stretch right around my hip and the left side body. And then come on back up towards center. Left hand on the ground. Inhale, reach the right arm up high towards the ceiling. So inhale, lengthen up, reach up. And then exhale, reach over to the left. So we're working on this right bicep coming right above the ear. Really gentle in this hand, touching the ground. You can bring the forearm to the floor if you'd like. And then on inhale, notice if you can lengthen out a bit more. And exhale, slowly come back up through center. And let's do each side one more time, but we'll just stay for one breath. So inhale, reach. Exhale, reach over to the right. Come on back through center, a breath in and a breath out here. And then we'll inhale, right arm reaching up nice and high. Thank you, Riley. <laughs> exhale, reach over to the left. Long exhale out. And right on back through center. Get back to the middle of my mat. Now I'll take a spinal twist to either side. So big inhale, sweep the arms up, spread the fingertips nice and wide like you're really reaching for something, reaching with intention and inhale. And exhale, gentle twist over to the right, left hand to the right knee, right fingertips are very gentle on the floor. And for me, I just kind of noticed my shoulders were hugging up towards my ears, so I kind of let them relax a bit on that exhale. And we'll stay for another breath. And come right on back through center. And again, inhale, reach the arms up nice and high. And exhale, twist to the left. We'll stay for another inhale and exhale. So on an inhale, maybe from the top of the head, reach up towards the ceiling a bit more. And can you twist any more on the exhale? Lovely, come right on back through center. Bring the hands to the floor in front of you. If you have a pillow, this is a great spot for a pillow. We'll just start creeping the fingertips forward. So we're kind of lengthening out the low back. And if you'd like, you can rest the forearms on the ground and let the back of the neck be long. So the chin is tucking a bit towards the chest. And any little movements or stretches that would feel good. and start to lift the upper body back up. And we will warm up the neck just for a moment. So take the right ear to the right shoulder. Option to reach the kind of left fingertips just out towards the left to get a nice stretch through the arm as well. Or this left hand can come just right above that. Okay, other side. So your right hand can come to the top of the left ear you can give very gentle pull for a deeper stretch and you kind of even feel it a bit more if you let this left hand stay extended out. And when you're ready, just open over to the other side. And of course, moving at your pace, not really brushing through anything. And just being gentle with yourself. And then chin to the chest. And I'll do my best to cue the breath um, throughout the practice. But it's always a nice intention to kind of let the breath be the practice. So especially in challenging poses, the breath can really help. Okay, lifting the head back up. Why don't we settle into a child's pose? 
<sighs> and let this feel good. So take as much time as you need. Knees working their way towards the edges of the mat. Let the chest start to drop down to the ground. And let go in the hips so they start to settle down towards the heels and reach the fingertips forward. Again, notice if the shoulders are crunching up towards the ears. See if you can pull them away from the ears. The back of the neck is nice and long and there's a lot of space between the shoulders and the ears. Fingertips are spread nice and wide. And then to get a nice little stretch kind of in the shoulders and the triceps, you can come into, if you'd like, praying child. So kind of bring the elbows to uh, a 90 degree angle and the hands are in a prayer position, almost right over the head. Take another deep breath here. And nice long exhale out. And bring your hands back down towards the mat. Spread the fingertips. See if you can creep the fingertips forward anymore. Ground down through the finger pads. See if you can lift the elbows up off the mat. And as you're here pressing into the finger pads, the hips are pressing back closer towards the heels. Lovely, and then from here, why don't we press up to a tabletop position. So slide the knees a bit closer towards one another so that they're about hips width distance. And if there's any issues with the wrists, you can come into um, fists. Stay loose through the fingertips and elbows and just kind of uh, bring the hips into some circles in our tabletop. So in our tabletop, keep the gaze maybe between the two hands so the back of the neck is staying nice and long. And you can either flip onto the tops of the feet or have your toes tucked under. So if one feels more comfortable for you, um, go with that. Oh, let's bring it back to neutral tabletop position. So. Fingertips spread nice and wide, just like how they were in our child's pose. And we're engaging in the arms, so we're pressing the mat away from us. And let's go ahead and send the right foot to the back of the mat. Flex that foot so the right toes are down on the ground. And be sure this right hip isn't peeling open. If you'd like, lift the left arm forward. Thumb is facing up towards the ceiling and we're really lengthening out. So through that right heel, and through this left ring finger. And so whatever is touching the ground, the palm of the right hand, the left knee and uh, the top of the left foot or either the toes, really ground down through that. Use the core, hug the belly button in towards the spine and we'll just hold here for three, two, and one, lower the left hand and drop this foot to the back edge of the mat for a calf stretch. And then press into the hands, work the right heel down towards the ground for a nice feeling stretch through the calf. You can kind of rock front to back a bit. Come on back to your tabletop. And from here, go ahead and lift the left leg and send the left foot to the back edge of your mat. Press through this um, left heel, make sure this left hip is kind of churning open. So engage the core, the low abs, keep pressing down through the hands. And you can either stay or start lifting the right fingertips forward. Notice if you find yourself kind of sinking in, so engage through the arm, use the core, reach through the fingertips, reach to the back heel for three, two, 
And one, lower that right arm down and the left foot to the back edge of the mat. Come into that calf stretch. <sighs> nice deep breath in. And long breath out. Come on back, tabletop. Why don't we come into puppy pose for a moment? So puppy pose, you can either flip onto the tops of your feet or leave the toes tucked under, the knees are under the hips. We're actually going to reach our hands forward, almost like we were in a child's pose. So the hips are over the knees and you can um, drop your forehead or your chin towards the ground, on the ground. And I like kind of tenting my fingertips up so I get a nice opening through the shoulders. This can always be uh, an alternative to downward facing dog or child's pose. So you're always welcome to take whatever feels best for you. Tabletop is also uh, sort of a modification for downward facing dog if you'd like. And then maybe you just kind of move the shoulders from side to side to have a nice little opening. And the chest is working its way down towards the ground. We'll stay for one more breath. Big exhale out, lower the elbows down and let's press our way back up to tabletop. And we'll find a way into a low lunge. So let's slide this right foot forward and then bring the right foot to the center of the mat with a hand on either side. The right toes are forward. Make sure the right ankle is right underneath the right knee. Ooh, and let's just stay here for a second. So we're melting into the hips and I'm feeling a nice stretch right here through the, my hip flexors. And so to stay grounded and supported, I've got a hand uh, on either side of the foot down on the ground. And then let's take some um, side twists. So if you'd like to challenge yourself, tuck the back of the toes and lift this back knee under. If you'd like, we'll go ahead and leave it on the ground. Um, left hand on the ground, take a breath in, reach the right arm up, let the front of the body open. And exhale, lower down. And other side, big inhale, sweep that arm up, nice and high. And exhale, lower it down, and to the other side. Breath in and reach. Exhale, lower down, and once more on this side. Breathe in. Awesome, exhale, release, let it go. Why don't we come into half camel from here? Tuck your back toe under. We're gonna stay in this low lunge position. So half camel, we would bring our left hand to um, the calf or even the um, ankle. So depending on your flexibility, uh, the chest is lifting up. You can leave the chin tucking in towards the chest. And then to keep going in this pose, the right arm is reaching up. So notice where you can soften. So you're really pressing down through the right foot. You're melting into the hip. And this is definitely a back bend and a heart opener. So depending how your um, back and neck is, this may not be the best pose for you. So modify if needed. So that would be maybe, maybe just staying in a low lunge like this. And another breath in. And exhale, let it go. Let's bring both hands down and shift the hips back and come into a runner stretch. And ooh, that will feel really good on that left leg. <sighs> right toes are flexing towards the face. Got hands on the ground for support. Welcome to shift from side to side. <sighs> okay, let's start bending the right knee, bring the right foot to the floor. Tuck these back toes under and why don't we step forward, we'll come into a modified airplane. So for an airplane we want to stay, uh, right foot is on the ground, left foot is lifting up towards the ceiling. And for modified airplane, our heart and chest is lifting almost like we were in a halfway lift. 
and uh, we're flexing through this back heel. The hands are on the ground. So these hands on the ground are for support for full airplane. The arms can reach up and back behind you. You've got like an upward facing dog happening in the chest. Shoulders are wrapping around the spine. The back of the neck is nice and long for three, two, and one. Let's take a forward fold ever so gently. Lower that left foot down, bend the knees, and drop the chest, drop the head. And from here, inhale to a halfway lift. So bring the hands to the shins. Almost press into them a little bit. So it kind of gives the heart a little lift up and a pull forward. And exhale, fold. We'll do that two more times. Breath in, lift halfway. Press into the feet. Hips are starting to pull back. The heart pulls forward. Hug the core in, exhale, fold. One more time, really feel all four corners of the feet. Inhale, press through the feet, heart lifts up. And exhale, fold. Bring the hands down to the mat and step your way back to a tabletop position. And when you're ready, slide the left foot forward. <laughs> And then walk the left foot a bit more towards the center of the mat, and you've got a hand on either side. Uh, decide what you'd like to do with the back foot. Left toes facing forward. And just kind of melt and move here as you say hello to uh, the hips. Maybe a nice stretch through that uh, right hip flexor. Option to tuck the back toes under and lift the back knee. And we'll take our twist, leave the right hand down. Inhale, lift the left arm up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, right arm reaching up. Ooh, nice side body stretch kind of through the front and side body on that right side. Exhale, lower down. Inhale again, reach the left arm up nice and high. Exhale, lower down and to the other side. Big breath in, feel that nice stretch again. And exhale, release. We'll come into half camel pose. Tuck these back toes under. If reaching back with the um, hand to the calf does not feel good or if it feels painful, definitely don't do it. So your half camel can be like this kind of a sinking low lunge. But if you'd like to keep going and it feels okay, we'll reach the right arm back for either the ankle or the calf. In the front body, the upper body is still um, kind of facing forward here. And careful and slow with the neck. And then if you'd like, the left arm can reach up and back. And you're really pressing into this front foot, melting through the hips for three, two, and one, bring the hands down to the mat Ooh. and start to straighten the front leg for the runner stretch. Hips are pulling to the back edge of your mat. Hug that belly button in, draw the chin towards the chest. Start to bend the left knee and bring that left foot to the floor. We'll come into our airplane or modified airplane. So we'll be standing on the left foot and lifting the right. And go ahead and really press through that standing foot. Make sure the left toes are facing forward. You have a soft bend through the knees. And this right foot is really active. So as if this right foot was pressing up against on the edge of the wall. So it's really engaging the leg and then the core is engaged. And then if you'd like the heart lifts up. Back of the neck nice and long. Reach the fingertips to the back edge of the mat if the arms are lifted. Spine is nice and flat for three, two, 
and one. Let's lower the right leg down and come into a forward fold. Oh, wrap the arms at the backs of the knees, drop the head. Nice, deep, full breath in. And big exhale out. And let's drop our hands down to the floor. And we will inhale to a halfway lift. Hug the belly button in. And exhale, fold. As you're folding here, really press down through all four corners of the feet. Soft bend through the knees, really engaging the legs. Let's press through the feet. Inhale, slowly rise up to stand. Head is the last thing to come up. And then let the arms come up with that big. Inhale, reach the arms up. Maybe the gaze comes up. And exhale, fold forward. So working on keeping the spine flat on a forward fold so the heart leads the way as you fold. And inhale, lift halfway, pull that heart forward. And exhale, fold. Let's inhale, press through the feet and rise up to stand. Big sweep up with the arms. And we'll actually, if you'd like, you can do a swan dive. Um, so the arms actually come out towards the sides. And let the heart lead the way. Spread the fingertips. So this is a swan dive into our forward fold. I love that. Inhale, lift halfway. And exhale, fold. And if you like doing a swan dive, by any means, do it at any point as we fold forward. Let's do it one more time. Inhale, press into the feet. Big rise up to stand. Spread those fingertips. Reach up. Press the hips forward a bit. Exhale, fold forward. Come into monkey pose from here. So take the peace fingers and wrap them at the big toes. Palms are facing in towards one another. Keep the knees bent. Elbows are falling out to the edges of the mat. And leaving the uh, fingers wrapped around the big toe, let's take a baby halfway lift. So inhale, the arms start to straighten, the heart pulls forward, back the neck nice and long. So maybe a stretch you're feeling through the glutes and the backs of the legs. And exhale, fold deeper. And let go of that grip there on the feet. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. We're going to leave the right foot forward and we'll step our left foot back for warrior one. So maybe keeping the hands on the ground to support you while you get settled. We have a bend through the front leg. The right toes are facing forward and our left toes are angled up to the top left hand corner of the mat. If you're feeling like you're on a tightrope with the feet here, go ahead and just move this right foot out towards the right edge of the mat. And now we press into the feet. If you notice your left, if your hips are kind of opening, see if you can really press and engage to this back leg and almost send this left hip forward so that it's even with the right. Hugging energy up and in, relax the shoulders. And when you're ready, lift the arms up. Take a breath in, inhale. Exhale, bend the elbows. So this would be, um, we call them goal post arms. Spread those fingertips, press into the feet, inhale, reach the arms up. And we'll do that again. Exhale, bend the elbows. Kind of getting a nice opening through the heart and the front body. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, bend the elbows. And from here, bent elbows, let's just drop the hands towards the hips. Another nice stretch here can be interlacing the hands at the low back, keeping our warrior one feet 
press the palms in towards one another and kind of press the knuckles down almost towards uh, the back thigh. Notice if you can sink any deeper into that front leg and gently release the grip. Hands to the hips and start to straighten through this front leg. Now, if that's not feeling okay, keep a soft bend in it. We're actually gonna to start to fold over the right thigh. So this is like a pyramid pose, except our stance is wider. So I like bringing my hands to the ground. And so if this stance is feeling too far apart for you, feel free to step this back foot forward, bend the back knee, maybe come on to, you can lift the back heel up. So modify so that the practice is your practice. And as you're folding over this right thigh, feel free to drop the head. Awesome, we'll find our way up to a forward fold at the top of the mat. So we're stepping or walking this left foot forward. And then right from here, let's come down to a squat. So the left foot comes out to about 10 o'clock, the right foot out to about two o'clock. And the heels are almost towards the edges of the mat, depending on how the hips and your knees are. You can let this be um, active. So kind of just moving around here. And then for a more still deep squat, you can bring hands to heart center, elbows towards uh, kind of uh, near the knees. And it's like the heart is lifting up. There's a string attached to the top of the head. You're really grounding down through the feet. For three, two, and one. Drop the hands to the floor. Turn the toes back so that they're parallel at the edges of the mat, press into the feet. This is kind of like a wide-ish forward fold. If this doesn't feel good, bring the feet closer so that their hips with distance apart. And just rock from side to side. And then slowly bring the feet back, hips with distance apart. Inhale, lift halfway. And exhale, fold. Leave the left foot facing forward. We'll take warrior one on the left. So step back with the right foot. Adjust the feet so that you're comfortable. Left knee is right over the left ankle and you're really grounding down to this right heel. Really engaging through the leg. Press through the feet and then rise up. And so adjust as needed. Make sure you can see your front toes. We're kind of pulling this right hip forward so that it's even with the left. Nice bend through the left knee. And when you're ready, go ahead and reach the arms up. Warrior one. Palms are facing one another. And we'll bend the elbows. So inhale, reach up. And exhale, bend the elbows. Fingertips spread nice and wide. Pressing through the feet. Inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, bend the elbows. And one more time. Inhale, reach the fingertips up. Exhale, bend the elbows. Option to stay here or go back to warrior one arms or interlace the hands at the low back. Squeeze the palms together. Press the knuckles sort of down towards this right thigh. And notice if you can bend or sink into this front leg. And on the next exhale, gently undo the fingertips. Bring the hands to the hips. We'll come into that wide um, pyramid pose. So press through this front foot, straighten that front leg. And we'll start folding over the left thigh. So adjust the stance as needed. 
hands are to the floor. And if this is feeling too much of a stretch, uh, yoga blocks uh, in this pose on either side of the front foot are really great. Press down through this back foot, so the right heel. And if you're holding in the head and neck, see if on an exhale you can release. And another deep breath in. And exhale, let it go. Step this back foot forward and we'll come into a forward fold. Press through the feet, big inhale, rise all the way up, soft bend through the knees. Inhale, reach up, maybe gaze to the ceiling. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale, a halfway lift, press through the feet. Exhale, put the hands on the floor and let's step back to high plank. Option to drop the knees. So this alignment is kind of similar to tabletop. So the shoulders are right over the wrist. The fingertips are spread nice and wide. We are not dropping into our shoulders. The hips are not sinking. We are active. So we're pressing through the backs of the heels. Backs of the legs are lifting up. As you inhale, see if you can shift a bit forward on the tippy toe. So breath in and out. And do that two more times. Inhale, shift slightly forward. And exhale back one more time. Inhale. And exhale back. Let's drop our knees down. Flip onto the tops of the feet. Start bending the elbows and sink your hips down. And let's start bending the elbows and let the chest rest down. Walk these hands forward so that they're right underneath the shoulders. We'll come into a cobra pose. So the elbows are bent and are squeezing in towards the ribs. The feet are about hips width distance apart. We're going to inhale, press into the tops of the feet. Let the heart lift, back of the neck nice and long. Squeeze the elbows in towards the ribs, press into the hip bones. Stay light in the glutes. Exhale, release, rest the right cheek on the floor where you're at. Let's do that again. Turn your chin or forehead to the center of the mat and inhale, peel and lift up. The collarbone is nice and wide. Hands can either stay on the floor, you can even hover them. So you're really working um, with the muscles in the back. Another breath in. Exhale, release, lower the left cheek down. Bring the chin or forehead to the floor. You can either do that again or you can come into a locust pose. So that would be our arms are reaching back behind us, palms face down. We're gonna do that same thing. So press into the feet, inhale, lift the chest up. If it feels okay, you can lift the hands up. Back of the neck is nice and long. And from there, you can even lift the feet up. So everything's kind of lifting and opening. Um, spread the fingers, spread the toes. Shoulders pull away from the ears. Three two and one release lower down bring the arms out to a t start bending the knees and let the ankles fall to the right and to the left <sighs> awesome from here lower the feet down Come onto the tops of your feet, bring the hands about right underneath the shoulders and we can press up to a nice upward facing dog. And then let's exhale and press back, come into child's pose just for a moment. And we let those hips drop right back towards the heels. We'll take a moment of stillness here, nice deep breath in. And exhale out. Go 
ahead and lift the body um, up. We'll come into hero's pose. So just bringing the knees together. And the hips are sitting back towards the heels. And we're sitting up nice and tall. Shoulders pull back from the ears and just take two deep breaths. And from here, let's swing our feet around so we will come into a seated forward fold. Mm. Sitting up nice and tall. Big inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, fold, reach for the feet. You've got the feet, a nice little stretch can be taking the right hand to the pinky edge side of the left foot, the left hand to the pinky edge side of that right foot. Kind of a different stretch through the lower legs a bit. And lift back up. We'll bring the soles of the feet together. <sighs> Sitting up nice and tall. Option to stay here or start folding the chest down towards the feet. And lift back up. Let's lower down onto our backs. Let's float just right into a spinal twist to the right and to the left. Extend the left leg long on the mat. Bend this right knee. Squeeze the knee into the shoulder. As you exhale, guide this right leg up and over, working on keeping the shoulders down on the mat. And you're rolling onto the outer edge of this uh, left leg. If the right knee, if you ever feel like it's kind of just floating in a spinal twist, you can always use a yoga block or a pillow. Prop that right underneath the right knee. And when you're ready, switch sides. Really allowing yourself to slow down and have the intention to still be in the practice. So although it's clear that we are about to wrap up, really give it to yourself to let yourself still be in the practice for a couple more minutes. And guide your way back towards center and get yourself comfortable for Shavasana, our final resting pose. <clears throat> And no, no need to really dial in and focus on the breath. See if you can kind of just let it be. Close the eyes down and let the hands and feet fall to a comfortable place.
And then keeping with this kind of slow energy and not in a rush, let's take a full deep breath in through the nose. See if you can make it last for a count of four. And open the mouth and exhale out. And then in your time, let's find our way up and we can meet in a comfortable seated position. We'll close our practice the same way we began. So sit and cross legged. <laughs> And then notice if it feels any different after 45 minutes of movement. Big inhale, reach the arms up nice and high. Bring the palms together, big exhale, hands to the center of your heart. Tuck the chin a bit. See if you can press the thumb knuckles into the sternum and relax the shoulders. And as you're here, say something grateful to yourself, something loving to yourself. And know that you are enough and showing up to practice and putting the work in. Take a deep breath in. And long exhale out. Lovely, namaste. Thank you for everyone who hopped on. Thank you for joining. Uh, hopefully I'll see you guys tomorrow and also next week. So thank you for joining.